All right, how's it going, YouTube pipe smoking community? It's the Piper, and today I will be reviewing uh, Happy Jack's Peach Pie. Uh, this was recommended to me by Peter. Um, I was trying pretty much all. I pretty much tried all of their house blends except for a couple, and he, you know, he recommended this. Uh, I was telling him I was really trying to get a nice peach, and he was like, "Well, look no further. We have a peach pie, um, so feel free to give it a shot." Um, I don't own a lot of peach flavors. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't own a lot of peach um, So if you have a recommendation for your favorite peach flavored tobacco I'd like to see what you guys recommend uh, as always. Um, so, you know, you guys know what you guys and gals know what to do so uh, Feel free to recommend some some different peach flavored tobaccos Very interesting peach flavor. never thought that'd be a Flavor, but it is uh, Opening it up and then, oh. Oh, my label came off. Oh, no. It happens. So let's put that there. Put that there. Put there. Hmm. Interesting. It smells like a, a peach party. That's how I describe it. A fruit party. That's what it sounds. It's, that's what it smells like. Okay, this is tripping me out. What the fuck? Okay, I smell peach. I almost smell like a cranberry. A raisin that kind of you get the fig remember I've talked about this in other videos you're gonna get that fig but I'm getting that peach a little bit of that fig and the over top notes I'm getting are coconut I know I know it's gonna be weird but I am it smells like it smells like a bartender on the beach this literally smells like a bartender's perfume like just stating the facts here Wow all right um, just comment below if you if you have this if you have peach pie comment below what you smell I'm very curious to see um, if you don't have this particular blend feel free to pack up your favorite pipe with your favorite peach flavor and let's review this together um, it would be better if you had the peach pie but uh, I understand I understand so we're going to speak I'm going to be smoking it out of my Vaughn tiny six little pipe um, yeah, I like this pipe. And honestly, I was just thinking about it. I was like, I should be using this more for my pipe views, reviews because then I'm not wasting all the tobacco. Um, but I don't even waste, I really don't waste that much. I usually smoke after I, re I record the video, I end up smoking the rest of the bowl. And then I don't post the video until like a week after. Because then what I will do is I'll try it three more times and I always wait till the end of the bowl and if you read my descriptions, I talk about it. I talk a lot more about my review. So it's not just what you're seeing here is my review. It's a little bit more details that go into it. So if you're ever bored, I strongly recommend checking out my descriptions. Um, so the Vaughn Tiny 6 got this pipe. Comes with a little filter. This is the Junior, uh, Dr. Pearl Junior. Just allows me to have a nice cool smoke. Pack her up here. So it smells really good. It does smell really good. I'm not saying I don't like that smell. It smells good. It's just not what I was expecting. Uh, looks like short, loose cuts. Maybe long, some long strands, so it could be a long, longer strand. I'm seeing it looks like Cavendish, Virginia. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but got that kind of Cavendish and Virginia look right there. So without further ado, let's pack her up. This is a very small bowl, so it usually takes like one finger to pack it. Literally, like one pinch, it takes one pinch. I'll put a little bit more though on top for the video. And there's also, there's 10 different ways you can skin a cat. So many ways you can pack a bowl. I remember when I first started, I. I was watching the mutton chopper all the time and I was 
trying to figure out the breathing method, and I was trying to figure out how to pack a bowl. And it makes it a little complicated. All I say is, practice makes perfect. If you're one of those people that are just watching all the videos on how to smoke, odds are you're not smoking enough. You know, so there's my two cents on that. So, got her all packed up and ready to go. Here she is. What a lovely looking pipe. I've, I've been told that I guess I have a green color for my pipes, which I don't blame them. Even my Boswell is kind of green. So, uh, all right, so we've talked about the tobacco look, smell. It is moist, not super moist, but it's clumping together. So I can tell it's a little moisty. So hopefully the lighting isn't bad. That's that's usually the initial light isn't a pain in the butt. That won't even fit. Here we go. I just heard the weirdest bird call ever. It sounded like a robot. I don't know if you can hear that. That's so weird sounding. Anyway. Good news is she's lit. don't get any peach I, don't, I really I don't get any peach on this at all No, there's no peach there. There's no peach there. I would give this a one out of five. I give this one. I'm sorry, but I give this a one out of five. This is not peach at all. <laughs> it's funny because it literally smells like so many things. Like it smells like it could be so much that you're like, whoa, this is, this could be good. I'm telling you, I don't get any of those notes when I'm smoking that. I give this a one out of five. And you want to know why I give it a 1 out of 5? Because you, you tell me it's supposed to be a peach pie. It's not. It's just a tobacco. With that being said, it's not bad. It's not like, oh, this is horror. Oh, God. No, this actually tastes good. It doesn't taste like peach. It doesn't even taste like a pie. But it's good. So, so far, let me be real with you guys. We reviewed the Lakeside, Peach Pie, Heath Bar, Cherry, and Vanilla. And out of all of the ones that I liked, out of all the Lakesides, the Cherry one was the best one. I don't even get it on, like, I'm trying to sit here, like, tasting it. 
I can't. I just can't. I give this one out of five. Um, and that's that's fine. That's fine. Some sometimes it just happens. It just it it, it is what it is. Um, would I smoke this again? You know what? I would. I would. And here's why. Because it's it's not bad. It's just not what it says it's supposed to be. If this was um, like labeled as like a a summer blend, I don't know, like you just something broad. You just need something broad and very open with this. And I would I would not be calling it peach pie. And I know it's not Happy Jacks that's doing it because it's Lakeside because it's it's the it's their house brand or whatever. So I would say to the people that are doing the Lakeside tobacco stuff, you should. St Stop calling it something that it's not because <laughs> it's totally not peach pie and that's t it was totally not Heath bar it was totally not lakeside vanilla you guys must be high as kites to think that that, that is actually that flavor um, so again shelf in it wouldn't be my go-to I give this as a gift I'd, re I'd re gift this one to be honest um, the only one I'd keep out of it is the cherry that's a pretty good one so uh and the pipe was working great i love the i love this pipe this pipe's great um you get all those flavors you really the filter actually helps the flavor a lot and that's where i'm kind of able to tell if this is a true peach pie and this is not peach pie um so i hope you guys found this video and um you know i'm sorry if you see me do a review and it's a little harsh or it is a little honest because that's the whole point of this channel when i find something i like i will tell you i like it if i find something i don't like i will tell you i don't like it this is something i do not like so without further ado with that being said I hope you guys have a good one. If you did like this video, feel free to like and subscribe and comment. Um, the community is super friendly here, and um, even though you might see me rip apart a tobacco, you never know. Um, you never know. I, I, I could I could be smoking this the next three times, and it actually is really really good. Um, just don't be discouraged. Uh, but just not really for me. Um, so I'm gonna actually let this bowl just kind of die out on its own, do its thing, and I. I'm going to head out. I hope you guys had a good one. Feel free to just have a good rest of your week. Enjoy the day. Enjoy, enjoy life. Happy smokings and take it easy.